Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, as y'all know, I've been testing out Wonder Dynamics Wonder Studio. And honestly, one thing is for certain. The artificial intelligence mocap that it captures is actually pretty darn good. So the question that is burning in my head right now is, can we use the AI mocap that we get from Wonder Studio to use in short film animations like what I do in the channel. With that being said, for us to be able to use Wonder Studio for short film with dialogue, we are going to be needing a mocap helmet on our head for the facial animation. So today what I did was I put on my face good D2 helmet and recorded a rap video clip to see how well Wonder Studio is going to do as far as getting motion capture with only using one camera. All right, so with that being said, here we are in Wonder Studio. So I'm gonna create a new project uh, real quick. I'm gonna continue and let me show you a quick tip real quick. If I were to just drag and drop this footage that I got straight from the camera, which I shot this at 50 frames per second, um, I got this account limit reached. And if you're getting this error, Go ahead and check if you have any more credits left over. So I'm going to go out. I'm going to go back to my main page and go right here. Go to settings. This is actually going to show you the render time you have left. As you can see, I have eight minutes left, so I should be OK. So so to fix that, what I did was just mess around in DaVinci Resolve and re-rendered the video in a different frame rate. So I captured it at 50 frames per second and I went ahead and cut it in half to just 25 frames per second. So that means this is going to play in slow motion, which is totally fine for this test. But just a heads up, if you're getting that error message and you have credits still, uh, try messing around with different files or different different um, frames per second and re-upload your video and that should work. So I'll minimize this now and we'll go right back. And as you can see right here, I have an exported version called Wraps and now that's going to import just fine. All right, so that's gonna take a second. It's only like 20 seconds long. So here's the take that we have, you know, me wearing the face good D2 helmet and just pretty much just rapping hardcore, you know, just like that. Um, so that's it. What we'll do is we'll click on next and um, we're going to say scan frame for actors. And I did a T-pose here, which I don't think it's required. But, you know, just for, for Pete's sake, I'm going to go ahead and just do it. I'm going to scan and frame actor right here with a T-pose, which actually, my T-pose is so crooked, man. It's not even funny. Like, that's just ridiculous. So here you go. I'm going to select a pretty lightweight character for this one. Like, this beastie boy is super high poly like it's not even funny but i'm just gonna use one of the dummy robots because again what i want to do is take this in blender and i want to see if it will capture the mocap okay so i'll click next and we're gonna do 720p again i'm not, not i'm not actually gonna worry about the video itself but what i want is the ai mocap and i want the blender scene so we're gonna say start processing and this is going to give me an estimated time, 135 minutes, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and just stop this video, go outside, touch the grass, and then, and then I'll be right back. All right, so we are back in Wonder Studio. Here's our project. I will just click it. And again, just a reminder, I don't care about the CG replacement at this point. I just want to know if Wonder Studio can capture the mocap, especially the head movements, because uh, I do have that helmet on. So let's press play. So, so I, so with that being said, that's pretty darn impressive. And I think it's safe to say publicly right now, things that are currently out as far as AI mocap goes for a single camera. And I've tried quite a bit. This is probably the best one I've seen with one camera. I can say, I can safely say that. Obviously, right now I'm looking at other ones that I think is going to be better than this, but publicly released right now, I would say publicly announced, even in beta, this is the best one. And to be honest, it did a pretty good job, even with my mocap helmet on, even when there is a camera right in front of me with no preparations, 
no mocap suit. I think yes. If you don't have a lot of occlusion covering the body of your talent for a simple standing or talking, I haven't tried sitting yet, we will try sitting. If you're just having a talk standing up with a lot of simple motion, I can honestly say this is workable. Now, right now, currently, there is a bug that Wonder Dynamics is actually working on. Um, so it is a little bit harder to retarget this animation out to, say, a MetaHuman, to, say, a Unreal Engine, to, say, an iClone. But I did reach out to Relusion to uh, see if they can create a character profile for us, you know, to get this compatible with iClone and Character Creator, similar to what they did for us in Move AI. Absolutely. We're going to be testing this out. Whenever they get that fixed, I told them to hit me up, and we're going to make a video, okay? But that being said, I did select Blender Scene. So before I go, I'm going to download the Blender Scene. Okay, I'm going to go to my folder and we're going to extract this. And I'm sorry, I have a lot of files. I'm actually running out of space. So we're just going to open this up. This is the Blender scene. I'm going to press 0 right here. I'm going to hide this ball. Press play right here. So this is the mocap data that we're going to be able to retarget in the future. So if I like play it fast, you can see a little bit of a jitter. But again, this is, I didn't filter anything. This is actually Wonder Studio. They do clean up the mocap a little bit whenever you watch it. They do clean it up, but that's automated. I just click the button and it's doing all that. Man, this is crazy. If we can retarget this to Unreal Engine 5, to a MetaHuman, to iClone, yo, move AI, I... I they're going to have competition for sure. Depending on the price of this, we don't have a pricing for Wonder Studio yet, Wonder Dynamics. Um, but but this, for a one single camera, yo, <laughs> move AI, yo, yeah, yeah. Got to watch out for this one. And again, the other ones that hopefully I'll be able to make a video on shortly. Wow. Okay, so that being said, you know I love hearing your thoughts about this. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this quality that you're getting even with a mocap helmet on uh, with that being said if you are a youtube member of my channel check out the member community page because i'm gonna have y'all download this blender scene so you can see the quality of it yourselves peace out